Today on the channel from Super 7 and New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 2, we've got Bushi. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 2 unboxing and review. And today we've got Bushi. But remember, for all your Super 7 needs, including New Japan Pro Wrestling, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And as you guys know, I strongly recommend Big Bad Toy Store for all your Super 7 purchases. You do not pay till they ship so make sure you check them out uh if you're looking for these or other super seven figures out there but today we're taking a look at bushi uh, i don't know a lot about bushi i gotta be honest with you uh he was a part of all japan pro wrestling that's where i first heard the name way back in the days as you guys know i'm an all japan guy i do like new japan but i don't dabble a lot in the japanese wrestling anymore so he's a little bit after my time not real sure on the character, but he does have some things I really do like. As you guys know, I love face paint. I love big figures. I love hairy bipedal creatures. I like robots. Yeah, robots. But I also like masked wrestlers, and we got all kinds of masks with this one. So this should be very fun. This should be a little bit different than the other Super 7 figures we've unboxed in the past. As I've had some complaints about those, I don't think I'll have those about this one. So we'll see. Only one way to figure it out is to do it like we normally do it. Take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at old Bushi in the package. As you guys know, he does come in the nice cardboard container, and then you do get this. I should show this off the bat. There's the slip case that goes over. King of Sports, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Same kind of deal on the back. That's what it says. But very iconic logo, of course, in wrestling. Uh, the universe of wrestling, we'll say. And then the packaging wise, uniform packaging, you guys know I love that. All Super 7 wrestling figures have this kind of packaging. And then all Super 7 Ultimates have the same kind of packaging. Obviously not the ring ropes and stuff, but the same slip cases, cardboard boxes, stuff like that. So we got that going on. You got Bushi's name there. You got the New Japan logo going on. You got extra hands and a lot of extra heads with this one. So I'm all about these extra masks. I got to find out which one I like best. So you got all that going on there. New Japan up top. Well, nothing, nothing, warnings. No, nobody cares about UPCs and warnings. Then the back, they got the little bit of tail of the tape going on. You got his name up there big. You got the King of Sports logo going strong. Beautiful blue on the bottom. You guys know I'm a sucker for blue. All right, let's see what it says about Bushi. Bushi? I believe that's right. Uh, five foot eight. 183 pounds from Tokyo, Japan. His finisher, the old MX. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Uh, Twitter at Bushy underscore NJPW. So there you go. New Japan Pro Wrestling's finest. Turned his back on All Japan. How dare he? Let's get him out of the package. See what's going on here. See what all the fuss is about, as one might say. Got that nice lighted background going on there. It is what it is. So there you go. As you guys know, I save all my Super 7 packaging. Is, uh, they're a little bit more valuable that way. Uh, it's good to keep them. They have the nice boxes that keep everything nice. So I always appreciate that. And then we got him right here going on. Look at all those masks. Look at all those hands. There's a lot going on in the plastic prison here for old Bushi. But I will do this. I can do all those other New Japan Pro Wrestling figures. Let me get him out of the plastic prison and we'll pick it up from there. All right, we're out of the packaging here. We got this all off to the side. See you later. See you later. But let's get down to it. Let's get down to Bushi, 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 Bushi. Uh, hand wise, we got all the hands you'd want. I'm not going to go through the hands like the other ones. Uh, we got the surfing hands where you got the hands like this. You got the fists, of course. He's got both fists on his hand. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. You got the C clamps. You got the finger point, the finger point, all the usual hands. So you can really choose your own hand adventure with Bushi out there if you want to. Got everything under the sun. So that's that. Accessory wise, that is it. You got all these hands, but then you get down to the head. So we got three different heads outside of him and then one head on him so you got four heads on here if there's a hardcore bushy guy out there that loves bushy you could theoretically get four different figures out of this so you could buy this four times put different hands on him put a different head and there you go you're off to the races and man if this was uh you know something i really really liked and one of my favorite wrestlers i would do that i don't know if there's anybody that loves this character that much but i'm sure somebody out there does but let's go through some of these heads here all right, what do we got? So we got 
So this one, they got the same head mask going on, uh, the mask, nice silver, really good coloring on these masks too. I gotta really say, they do a fabulous job. And my biggest gripe with Super 7 is, well, I have a few gripes, but I have some things I love and some things I gripe about. One thing I usually consistently gripe about with Super 7 figures is uh, when they try to do real faces. They do great when they're doing lion -O, when they're doing He-Man characters, uh, when they're doing helmeted heads for the Super 7 guys, when they're doing cartoon animation heads. But when they try to get real realistic real people in head sculpt form there's a disconnect there there's a miss somewhere i am no sculptor i am no artist i am not exactly sure what is missing feels like they're a little bit glossy much like ftc figures out there uh, but they do a fabulous job on mass character heads here as we can see right here with bushi so we got two same head sculpt same everything same mask going on just a uh, different facial features he's got kind of a smirk on this one just a regular look on this one so not terribly different on these two but man very very cool and then you get this kind of day of the dead lucha mask going on here kind of almost like a santos escobar wore something like this i think in nxt one time or joaquin wild or one of those guys uh, but very, very cool here. Very evil looking. I like this one a whole lot. I'm guessing he probably doesn't wear this one a whole lot. This is probably for a special match or something. I could be totally wrong not knowing uh, the deep history of the character here. But this one is pretty cool. Kind of what they call it, like a sugar skull or something along them lines. I think that is very, very solid. But then you get down to the figure. And uh, like we've seen with some of these New Japan Pro Wrestling figures, they have soft good shirts, nice robes, guitars, accessories. Bushi, none of that stuff. So I'm guessing he doesn't have a robe. He doesn't come out with any of that stuff. So a bit plain Jane as far as figure form, even though he has a mask going on, he doesn't have all the bells and whistles we're accustomed to some of the other figures we've unboxed already in the Juju Japan line. So that is something interesting out there. The head sculpt on this one is very interesting. He's got his tongue sticking out. So really, what head sculpt do you like? It's up to you. What kind of persona you're trying to show off your shelf or if you're having him in a wrestling match, figure photography, that kind of stuff you can choose from there but i gotta tell you i like this figure so much more just because he has a mask on they nail it on masks and face paint and stuff like that they struggle on the real head sculpts the real faces out there so this one is very good uh, this body almost reminds me of that andrade basic wrestlemania figure from a year ago if you guys remember that one uh kind of the black and white concept going on there i mean it does have some of that but it is a little bit plain jane it has black and white paint no real paint issues anywhere as we know black and white paint is very difficult there's a lot of bleed over uh, from time to time and i don't have any of that going on here there's no staining on the skin because there's no soft goods to stain this figure as you guys are well aware uh, but articulation wise, you got the bicep swivel, you got the single jointed elbows, uh, you do have the hands that are removable. He does have a forearm guard that can come off if you remove the hand. Head turns all around, up, down, side to side, is removable, as you guys are well aware, because we got extras, we already talked about them. You got the ab crunch, which is always interesting. These ab crunches on Super 7, uh, they just go more back than they go forward, and that is always interesting. Uh, so he's got that going on, and then you got movement at the waist, of course. No thigh swivel, but you do have the knees that move with the knee pads over the knee, of course. And then you got the ankle that can move all over side to side to side. Not a whole lot of side to side on this one. So uh, not as articulated as some figures like Mattel and Jazzwares we talked about in the past. That doesn't kill it for me because I am not sitting here playing. I don't need all the crazy articulation. You guys see my display behind me. That's how I display, so I don't need all the bells and whistles, but they are definitely nice. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Search Kyle Peterson or, or use discount code Kyle Peterson, more like it. But there it is. Fits perfectly on there. He does have Bushi on the back of his trunks, tights, pants going on there, so we do have that going on. So all in all, I do like this figure. I do like it. It is a bit plain, even though he is a masked wrestler out there, but there's no nice entrance regalia. There's no big coat. There's no big cape or anything like that going on. But we got a ton of hands, got a different mask you can put him on. So he's got some uh, choose your own adventure possibilities for him, which is always a nice thing out there. But I like it. I'm here for it. You guys know one of the things I love, like I said at the top, masked figures, he fits the bill. So I'm okay with this one. Uh, what about you guys, though? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you like this figure? Are you getting it? Are you passing on it? 
Any good memories of Bushi back in the day? Is there something I need to look up? You guys let me know anything in the comments you want me to know. And then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Pick up a t-shirt. So there you go. For our boy Bushi, New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 2 via Super 7, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.